Hey, what's up guys? It's Hui here. And today, I'm gonna compete against the world-class athlete at GCUs. Let's see Dom. I'm Austin Atencio. I'm from Carlsbad, New Mexico. I'm a D1 track and field athlete. I'm in the long jump. Uh, my PR is 24 feet 3 inches. And my favorite fruit is strawberries. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm Paris Smith. I run track here at GCU, D1 athlete. Uh, I run the 200 PR 21.6 and the 110.8. And uh, my favorite food is probably probably pineapples. Yeah, pineapples. Sometimes I'm mindless and my mind sits in the bottom of the motherfucking trenches. Don't get it twisted, don't need assistance. But sometimes I just don't get this. Cause I crave all this hate from the naysays. I put it all on my plate, never say grace. I'm never solving the case, but I stay late. You got a problem, meet me at the gate. I sold my soul for plastic gold. I drank the hate up on the centerpiece. Wrist up all the grit, no rest in peace to all of my enemies. Double pump, no remorse and voices all just sound like shit to me. This that motherfucking dump them all. I'm on the killing spree. Drown in the water, hold me down in the gutter. Never gonna see me right in front of the sound of the thunder. Say condescending, y'all stop pretending. Y'all the beauty on the beast when I. Today's, uh, we gonna go to to warm up and then favorite um exercises on uh, you know during practice. And lastly, I'm gonna compete against them. So wish me luck, guys, and I see you there. Jap, you can't ignore it. I'm transforming now. These cars and planes, I'm always boarding. Just out touring down in Charlotte, like I play for Hornets. When I'm performing, never boring. Now you can't afford it. Champagne Perrier, finished friends on my face. Looking like I'm from the D. These no Cartier. Pockets deep, 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 bro. I can make it in my seat. Like do no you and do me? Bro. So it's just. I mean, it's like, just. This is bounding. Bounding, right? Yeah, bounding. 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 I'm gonna try it. Never tried it before. Uh. <laughs> 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 it's like you're flying. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta keep going, keep going. <laughs> this helps you learn and you just go forward. It's two, we do four strides. So a stride is like pretty much just like focusing on your form for 100 meters. And then you walk the curve. Well, we can just do two if you want. Or you just want to do one and then one. I think we'll just stay right here. We'll do we'll one right and then here, right yeah. back. Yeah. yeah. All right, so yeah, just, I usually just walk into it. The tighter you are, the slower you're going. So if your face is tight, your arms are tight, you're gonna be going slow. So focus on just like relaxing your jaw. Just really like, I, I open my mouth when I run through like, I'm doing that. Cause it helps you just focus on swinging your arms through instead of being so tight, you know? It's not, not choppy, you're trying to push. So that's kind of what we do. There's a lot of technical stuff that goes into it. So it's kind of hard to explain. So just try to, we're only going feet. 50 meters and just try to push out. I'll show you one. There you go. Yeah, all right, so we're gonna walk Harry through some starts today. We're gonna do probably about only like 30 to 40 meters. So uh, when you get down into your starts, I'm gonna show you how to get down first. So you're gonna, me personally, I normally have a foot out and that's where my first foot's gonna be. So that's where my first foot would be. And that foot, right? And then I would get down, have my fingers down like this, get down kneeled. And I mean, typically, I like to have my knee a little bit behind my first foot because it tends to make for a better angle when you're coming out the blocks. So then I'm just here. I got all my, my weight is evenly distributed yeah. to my arms and to my feet. And then I'm resting on ready. And then the starter would say set. And I'm here. I have a 90 degree angle in my right leg. And on go, I would just push out. When you accelerate, do you have to like move your arms pretty quick, or what are you talking Yeah, on? so when you when you first come out the blocks, you want to snap, which your your so for me it's my left leg since I have my right leg as my lead foot. Mm -hmm. I'm snapping this arm back and accelerating and pushing out. It's gonna be relaxed, and then you start coming up gradually, 
and you want to have a relaxed mouth as well. You don't want to be too tense anywhere in your body in particular. Gotcha. Let me do the gun. Yeah. So when I say set, lift your butt up, and then when I do bang, then you go. How far do I go? Uh, go about to that orange water bottle you see. It. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. All right. All right. Here we go. Run a CMR. Set. Bang. Oh. Interview on Paris and Austin. A couple of questions about his school life and uh, you know, college sport. Let's, let's get into it. So, hey, pal, Austin. I'm sorry, because I, I just remember you in Paris and Austin. <laughs> no, I, Two cities. Yo, just, I'm like super tired right now. Yeah. <laughs> I bet. Yeah. So, um, what did you GCU use instead of ASU or any different school to like compete in a track? You know? Um, honestly, um, I jumped really well towards the end of my senior year in high school and the head coach of this track team, um, he reached out to me and wanted me to run for him. I had a couple of places in mind that I wanted to go to, but I didn't really like the area. And GCU is a new and growing school and it's close to home because I'm from New Mexico. So it kind of just worked out and the price wasn't as bad as a couple of other schools that I was going to go to. So pretty much just the opportunity was overall relevant. So that's pretty much why. Oh, that's super nice. Thank you, Austin. Yes, sir. No, Paris. <laughs> Uh, same question, like what really made you to do TCU at your college, uh, okay. do track in school and everything? Yeah, um, my mom and stepdad went here, they got their masters from here actually. Mm -hmm. So academically I already kind of wanted to go here. And then track and field wise, I had a few other schools that I wanted to go to like Mount St. Mary. Uh, but I, I don't know, I like the atmosphere that GCU had as well as trying to strengthen my faith as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, are you a Christian? Like, but, but, like you going to Transitioning, travel? yeah, I'm, I'm starting to continue my faith and strengthen my faith. Definitely. I mean, I'm glad for you, bro. Like, you Appreciate have the faith in God again. Yeah. But yeah. Trying to find it, you know. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And uh, Austin, second question is, what really ins inspired you uh, to play track? Yeah, honestly, uh, I did a lot of sports in high school. I did everything you could think of. Cross country, basketball, football, baseball, uh, track, and um, I think it was sophomore year. I. Uh, I did really well and my coach sat me down and he told me like, you might have a future in this sport compared to any other sport. And I started to realize like, yeah. So I started taking it more serious my sophomore year and then just kept progressing and getting better. And then my mom even told me like, yeah, like you could you could do well in this. So that's pretty much why, just oh, that's nice. it. But I, like uh, doing college, like, do, you, do you like it? Oh yeah, I love it. I love the competition. I mean, obviously it's a lot harder than high school. High school Definitely. in New Mexico, especially. I mean, it wasn't too hard to win, but there was still competition, but now I'm competing with guys that are four or five years older than me. So it's, it's definitely makes me try to be better and it forces me to focus more and really tune myself in a lot more than I did in high school. So it's a great experience, yeah. Bro, that's super nice. How about you? What's your best advice for you know, youngster kids from high school that uh, really, like, really want to play Division One? I would say definitely consistency, being consistent with workouts and actually wanting it. Because I mean, if you're if you're on and off, your body's not going to get regulated to doing the sport. Gotcha. And so you're not going to end up performing as high as at, the, at your peak. So it's kind of like you're shooting yourself in the foot in a way. So I would just say being consistent and having to drive for one player's sport. That's, That's so nice. So as long as you have like consistencies and and the faith in what you want to do in the future, yeah. you think Consist it's gonna it's gonna happen? Like consistency and a, and a good work ethic will get you there. I mean, some people can get there off the talent, but it only gets you so far. You know. That's something nice, bro. Yeah. Bro, so consistency be the key. It's like not with you know track and field, uh, with soccer, with football. Uh, bodybuilding, powerlifting, anything. Consistency is always the key, bro. And, uh, and now we're gonna do the compete, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's go! Let's get it. <laughs>
last video, guys. I just want to say, like and subscribe to this video, and turn on that notification bell, and share. Hey, we see you in the, in the next, next video. video. Lops up. up. The racks, walk up the mask, slide up the night, and I never look back. I am the hunter, you are the monster. I am the entity. I am the.